Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special unboxing for you and I can't wait to show you what I got from Jackson's. I usually place an order with them once a month to get paper and other necessities, but I added something extra this time. The Schmincke Horadam Super Granulation Shire Set. I just got the half pans for now. They're a little bit cheaper and I I'm so in love with this color palette. I can't wait to swatch them for you. I also picked up a small detail brush. I've never used the Princeton Aqua Elite, but I have used the Neptune brushes and I really love them. But I wanted to try this line in a smaller zero size brush. I also got a very inexpensive but very high quality sketchbook that's Jackson's own brand. I think it was less than a dollar. And I'm really excited about it because it's super high quality paper. It'll be great for sketching out designs and testing compositions. This is the watercolor paper I've been using lately and I really like it. Arches is my favorite by far, but this is a little less expensive and still super high quality. I already own the Schmincke Super Granulation Forest set, which I've used quite a bit since I got it in the spring. And I thought I would splurge a little bit and get this Shire set to go with it. I love how nicely these color palettes go together. You can use them in conjunction with other colors, but they also work very well by themselves. This first color here is Shire Gray, and I can't wait to use this for maybe a night sky, but in the piece that I paint later in this video, it was mostly my shadow color and my tree color. Shire Blue is probably the most exciting color in this palette for me. I simply love blues. I love the forest blue color, and this one is slightly different. A little, maybe a little bit more yellow, whereas the other one is more green, but it's so beautiful. This next color is Shire Green. It's a very vibrant spring green, and I didn't use it very much in this piece that I, I paint today but it's still a very useful color and I can't wait to use it in spring landscapes in the future. Shire Olive is another favorite in the set. I love a good olive color. It's great for landscapes and this one did not disappoint. One thing I will mention is that this Jackson sketchbook is not technically watercolor paper, so I will probably do some more swatching on actual watercolor paper in the future, but it did hold up really well to all of the water and it allowed the granulation to come through even though the paper wasn't very textured. This last color is the Shire Yellow. It's a very golden, almost ochre yellow. It's, it's just beautiful. I love it so much and I can't wait to use it in fall landscapes. I had sketched this piece out several days ago, but never got around to actually painting it. And so I thought, why not use the Shire colors for this, uh, this drawing? And I love the way it turned out. The colors were perfect for the scene. It's a very pastoral, nostalgic countryside scene. It almost reminds me of something you might see in the countryside of Europe, perhaps in Austria, but I love the way it turned out. I used the Shire blue for the sky, obviously, and I mixed a little bit of the Shire gray in it to tone it down.
The initial wash for the mountains was a mixture of Shire Blue and Shire Gray, and later I'll go in with some darker colors for details, but here I'm using, again, mixtures of the green and I believe the olive and perhaps even a little bit of the yellow to create the fields. Despite the fact that these paints have multiple pigments in them and there's even a little bit of separation as you use them, when you mix them they don't get muddy they actually give you an even more beautiful range of colors than what the pans initially show. So I enjoy mixing the super granulation colors to see what other tones I can get from them. For the pathway here, I use the Shire Yellow. It's a beautiful earthy dirt tone, but I could also see myself using it for autumn leaves or maybe even dead grasses. When using a very limited palette such as this one, you're forced to be creative with how you use the colors, which colors are going to be your shadow tones, which are going to be your highlights. And the end result ends up being something even more beautiful than perhaps something more realistic would look. This piece has a very distinct mood to it that these colors lend to the piece. And I love how using these different colors in ways that I might not normally in a painting where I have more colors on my palette, showed me some new ways to get creative with color. If I had to pick a favorite part of this piece, I think it would be the pathway. I love how the detail came out and the way I was able to shape it with shadows and highlights. It really pops off the page and I'm really proud with how it turned out. I found that using very subtle lines to add a little bit of dimension to a piece of the painting really goes a long way. I'm, I'm getting better at the less is more part of watercolor and knowing when to stop, knowing when I've got enough detail to just suggest certain things instead of making it hyper-realistic. 
the end result is softer and more subtle, but I like that. I like the airy and more ethereal look. I think my least favorite part of this painting is the tree. It didn't totally turn out the way I envisioned, but I still like it. I probably put too many colors in it for it to look right. And I wasn't totally pleased with the way I shaped the crown of the leaves, but it still fits with the composition. It's not too distinct, doesn't pop out too much, but it does lead the eye in towards the rest of the scene, the house in particular. I absolutely love this set. I cannot recommend it enough. Both it and the forest set have proven to be beautiful color palettes. And whenever I use them, I feel very inspired by the colors and the texture. Granulation is one of my favorite effects in watercolor and having colors that amplify this effect really excite me to paint. And if you'd like to try one of your own, I would definitely recommend purchasing either one of these sets. There are several other themes, but these two are by far my favorite. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you have a lovely day or night. I'll see you next time.